Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arty Robotics, my name is Carl and in today's video we're going to be talking about robotic arms. So if you've been a subscriber of the channel for a while you'll notice this robotic arm, this is a USB robotic arm and this has been my logo for a good couple of years. Um, my best friend knows that I love robots and for Christmas she got me this one, a hydraulic robot arm, uh, which is a little kit you build it from, it's sort of like a Meccano pieces or you know Lego Technic or something like that, they all piss peek out of little pieces of plastic and you build each component up uh, with hydraulic little uh, cylinders. So uh, let's get this out of the box and go and see what it's like to build and what it's like to play with. So this is how the box comes, it's got the design of the robot arm on the front and it's also got the dimensions. Uh, all the components come in this sort of airfix style uh, plastic injected moulded design. Um, most of the construction time is taken just nibbing off the little plastic nibs with a pair of cutters uh, to make sure all the moving components can move freely. These were the hoses for the hydraulic cylinders and you also get a set of o-rings in there and you also get some grease for the hydraulic cylinders. This was uh, four bars of aluminium and you just basically pop them into the base to weigh the base down to make sure it doesn't tip over. The instruction manual seemed rather thick when I first opened it up and it was, it was very very detailed. Uh, but this is basically because it doesn't miss one step. There's a very specific thing that you have to do so you can do the next thing to make sure that that component is built. Once I've built most of the robot arm up, uh, the next job was to make sure that each hydraulic cylinder went into the correct place because you can, you can only have one hydraulic cylinder in each place because they're all different sizes. Some have got uh, normal hydraulic cylinders in and some have got backlash springs in them. This was the turning component. This is basically done with a 45 degree bevel gear and then a shaft that runs all the way along the base. These are the two arms which are removable, you can either pinch things with the two arms or you can pick things up with the sucker arm. This is what the cylinders look like when they were in the plastic injected moulded and as you can see there's a lot of little nibs that need to be cut off there to make sure that everything moves freely. The hose pipes are all the same length um, but there's actual uh, centimeter by centimeter detailed instructions inside the instruction manual to tell you what each length of uh, pipe needs to be. Here are these hydraulic cylinders. Uh, as I said, some are normal hydraulic cylinders and some have got a backlash spring inside them. Uh, things like on the grabber. This was how the, uh, the turntable works, as I said there's that bevel gear with the shaft that runs along the bottom and then a worm gear at the very end. So this was one of the main jobs which was most time consuming which is charging up the hydraulic system and you basically just suck water in and then blow it back into itself and then as you can see here I'm flicking the, uh, the pipe work and I'm also flicking the cylinders to get as much air bubbles out as possible. There's the most air bubbles you get you can get out of the system the better uh, you'll get a lot less leaks you'll get a lot less problems and everything will just work first time uh, i did have trouble having quite a lot of air in the system when i first uh, built it up but yeah i just learned this system of um, flicking the cylinder then flicking the pipe and then you sort of just chase the bubbles up to the top of the pipe and then push them into submerged water this is how you remove the grabber arms, you literally just flip them off with two little clips on either side and they're off straight away, it's literally a five second job and then you've got a sucker arm. The sucker arm just basically works on the same sort of thing that you'll have on like a, a car window and it's just basically a vacuum sealed sucker. As you can see, that's no problem lifting up a phone. It, uh, whatever you're lifting up with the sucker does need to be very, very clean um, so you can get a clean vacuum inside to grab hold of something. And then to basically let go of it, you just release the pressure and that lets go of the object.
thank you very much for joining us here at RC Robotics. If you do like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is just up in the corner. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, I'll pop one in each available corner. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.